Silence in the set, please. Sheila. Okay. Yes. Sir. Fine. Yes. Camera. Okay. Sound. Ready. Okay. We are going live. In. 3. 2. 1. Now. Hello everybody, I am Sheila Pandey. Hearty welcome everyone, to our talk show. Our guest for today, is a famous motivational speaker in the country. His words make magic, and crowd goes crazy for his speeches. He is none other than Mr. Pavin Jaiswal. Let's welcome him. Welcome sir, most hearty welcome to our talk show. Thank you Sheila, thank you for having me here. It's our pleasure sir. Sir, you have not ever made up to a TV show or an interview ever. Yes. May I kindly know the reason behind, you accepting to come to our show? Well, I would say there is no rocket science behind this. Arun Mehta, who owns the channel is a very very good friend of mine. And I always thought this channel gives 100% genuine news to the public. So, being called for an interview to this kind of channel is like being honored. This is the actual reason for me to accept to your request. So sir, let's start the interview. A journey from a railway khalasi to the countries of the greatest speakers of all time. Could you just break the equation for us please? My father. Devendra Jaiswal. Devendra Jaiswal, a railway khalasi at Sikandarabad railway station. He used to leave house at 6 a.m. and reach again at 10 p.m. in the night. He knew it was because of lack of education, he was like this. So, he put me in a very good English medium school. My grandfather was also a railway khalasi. During school days, I was very active and of course naughty too, like every other else. Daily, we used to have speeches, given by students, in the school assembly. One day, it was my turn for giving a speech from our class. Before entering the stage, I was highly tensed up. Seeing, that mic in the assembly, in front of the school crowd, it was like a pistol in my point block. But, I told little confidence to myself, and remembered my teacher's words, not to look at the crowd, and look at some objects straight to me, to overcome my nervousness. I spoke whatever I have practiced. The response was awesome from my school assembly. So, that highly boosted up my confidence levels. I have made up my mind, I could do this better. I started speaking on different topics in the assembly every other time, I had a chance. Slowly slowly, I even started to represent our school, at inter-school elocution competitions. It was in my 12th standard, I have attended zonal elocution competition. I was waiting for the call. And about 10 minutes to go for my turn, there was another call, saying that Devendra Jaiswal, has met with an accident, and has expired. Excuse me sir. Shall we take our first caller please? He is from Lucknow. Okay. Hello. Sir, I am Abhishek Shukla. Hello Abhishek Shukla. I was part of your speech that you have delivered at our college in 2007. Okay. I was motivated very much by your speech then. Wow. Now I work as general manager for Akash Solutions. That's a great job. That speech literally played a very crucial role in my life, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Abhishek, for calling to the show. Sir, let's continue. Yes, yes. My father's death threw me away from the auditorium into the world. I had to be a khalasi for our daily living. Days, months are passing on. 
I was very much worried that my life would only be at the railway station. One fine day, my English teacher has seen me at the platform. She understood my circumstances and told she would help me participate in the upcoming competitions. That gave me a lots of boosting and I started to work on my speaking skills again. Used to work all day and prepare myself at nights. The day has come for the state level elocution competition. Even the entry fee was borne by my teacher. But the audience was far different from the crowd that I have addressed earlier. And the mic also looked like a pistol pointing me like it was in my first ever speech. With a lot of nervousness I got onto the stage and couldn't able to perform well. But one of the judge claimed that he has seen me in the school days when he attended our school annual day as a chief guest. He inquired about my performance why am I not up to the standard. He told me he would help me to overcome my difficulties in speaking. This time I started to get trained much more harder. It's the next successive state elocution competition. This time too I felt the mic looked like a pistol but this time pointing the audience I gave my 120% and the response was overwhelming from the crowd Guess what I stood the winner I was the state champion for that year Sir second caller is online please talk to him He is from Surat Yes show sure. Good evening sir I am Rajiv Mehta Hello Rajiv Mehta I haven't even missed one of your speeches sir I am very much fond of them Thank you They are very gripping and near to reality Whenever I feel discouraged I watch them sir they truly give me some solution This gives me immense pleasure Rajiv Thank you Thank you Rajiv Mehta for calling to the show. Let's proceed sir. A railway khalasi being a state champion was a bigger thing. It was printed in quite a few newspapers writing articles about my life story. It was even telecasted in the news channels too. I became quite popular in the city that a local boy has been a state champ. I was asked to give a speech that could motivate people at one of the famous educational institution in the city. And that speech was uploaded into YouTube. People made it so popular and viral in the social networking sites that it was like a hot cake. People started to recognize me whenever I was going out. There on I have got many chances to speak at various levels and different stages. One of my speech that I gave at Bashir Educational Society grabbed the attention of Ji Arjuna sir who is the founder of People's Party. He invited me to his home, spoke for few minutes, had some coffee and he told he was very impressed by my speech. On my son's first birth, he called me and invited me to his home and asked me to join politics. Within a month or less, I have joined the People's Party. The rest is what you all know. Sir, could you please tell us how your marriage has happened? Vidya was my uncle's daughter. We liked each other and even decided to tell this to our elders so that they could get us married. By that time I was even popular for my speeches like they knew me. So I thought there would be no objection from her family. But my village people were like even if you are the prime minister of the country they don't mind they would only give their daughter to a government employee. So we tried to convince them in many a ways but they denied us. 
In a scenario where they have fixed her marriage with someone else, we had to go for a register marriage without her parents' concern. That's how it happened, and after three years, another fellow added to our list, my son, Surinder Jaiswal. Third caller is in line, sir. Shall we talk to her? She is from Chandigarh. Fine. Hello. Hello, sir. I am Ankita. Hello, Ankita. We have met when you came to our college during my MBA. Oh, wow. I have received a prize through your hands for drawing competition held at our college. Super. Congrats. I was always attracted by your speeches. Thank you. Sir, I have a question for you. Why did you only give your support? Why haven't you contested in the election, sir? Thank you, Ankita, for calling to the show. Sir, could you please tell that for us? I thought I can only motivate people, not rule them. Of course, politics are meant to serve people, but it's like ruling nowadays. That is the only reason. So, we have made a special video for you from the source of information we have about your political life. So, you have joined the party 6 months before 2014 elections. By then, election survey sounded negative on your side. The speeches that you have given at three major centers has just changed the momentum for your party. There was a climb in aerial survey. They have given you positive results. They not only won it for you, but also had a record-breaking majority in the state's history ever. It also helped your party's majority at the central level. You have given speeches addressing the whole country, and they were really, really big hits. Every month, 30% of your income is donated to orphanages for their welfare. May all this give you a much more excellent future to you ahead, and thank you, sir. So we are very much thankful for sparing your time and coming to our show. Thank you very much. And before winding up, we have one last caller, sir. He is from Pune. Okay. Hello. Hello, I am Vinay Das. Hello, Vinay Das. Hi, how are you? I am good. Of course, you are always good. But others are those who get fooled because of you. What? What are you talking? Ha ha ha! By the way, what an awesome story! Where did you manage to get this? Is this some kind of joke going on here? You can fool people who doesn't know you. Not to. Okay, okay. Thank you, Vinay Das, for calling to the show. Let's take a small break, and we will be right back again. What was that? Uh, sir, sir, please excuse us. We have not known where this was from. This seems you all need a trap for me to dump on. Sir, please calm down. Please, please give us a moment. This channel has a lot of reputation, and you come up with such kinds of political traps, trying to let down a leader. Sir, please, please give us a moment. You do not know the other side of me. You cannot even expect where you are going to be now. No, sir. I truly apologize here for this, sir. I do not need your damn apology now. We are back to the show again. I would apologize, Mr. Pavin Jaiswal, as well as the audience, for the inconvenience occurred. Sir, sorry for what has happened. Fine. Now I would like to tell you the last caller who called on the show, Mr. Vinay Das, was a person who is drunk and he is out of control. We got to know this once we called back him. This show being live telecasted, we were not able to skip the call. We are very sorry, sir, for what has happened.
So audience, this is for today. Meet you in the next week with another guest. Thank you all. Bye bye. Bye. That was an awesome interview me. Thank you. Well, I have to thank you for accepting our request and I am truly sorry for that last call I made. I did not know what was that. Yes, I too felt a bit shocking. Who was that? And sorry for my reaction, dude. No, no, that's fine. But why were you so tensed up? As if he was correct. Ah, Majaba, Majaba. Da, 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 da.